touch for Vitamin. Thank you, Mark. Coming up next on The Beat Goes On, it's old friend and Beat Goes On sponsor, John Galvin. John, with his company, Fortuna Thoroughbred Syndicators, has a wonderful story to tell this week. It all started at the Caracas sales and ended in triumph on the racetracks at Ellerslie. John Galvin, welcome to The Beat Goes On. It's good to be back, Jared. It is. Well, it was some time now. But of course, John is the man that visits us every Melbourne Cup day because you're in that business, aren't you, John? Thoroughbred racing, that's right. Thoroughbred racing. Wow. Before we tell this wonderful tale, we've got a wonderful tale to tell today. John, would you like to expl explain what Fortuna Racing is uh, the, and the reason that you're on the program? Definitely, Jared. Well, uh, Fortuna Limited is an authorised thoroughbred syndicator and I head up that company and what we do is we go to the horse sales and we buy uh, nice, well-bred, well-conformed thoroughbreds that we think can be really good on the racetrack. Uh, we secure them at the sales and then we sell sh shares in the syndicate. So we form a syndicate and we sell shares in the syndicates to members of the public. Yeah. That's my job. And then after we've put the syndicate together, we put the horse uh, through a training process and get it to the races. And uh, hopefully one day it can win, um, you know, quite a bit of money for our clients. One day, that word. And it came true, didn't it? For yep. 33 33 wonderful people in the syndication. Mm -hmm. They bought this particular horse called Melody Bell. Yep. Wow. Now, let's start right from the beginning. You're at the Caraca Sales. Yeah, Caraca uh, Sales, January 2016. And you saw this, you had a selection of about six horses you were going to go for. Correct. And I missed out on a few of those. They went for more than our budget. We, had, we set a budget for, for any horse we want to buy. Um, but this particular filly came along, she didn't have a name then, but she was by uh, Australian bred, she was by the Sire Commands. And uh, so I had a budget of 80000 to buy her, we secured her for $57,500. You didn't have to spend your 80000 did you? Correct. 57000 that's a good saving yep. isn't it? It is, yeah. And um, right from the start we earmarked that filly as one we thought could be a contender for the million dollar race the following January, what's known as the Caracca, Caracca Million, Millions, yeah. right at Ellerslie, that's right. Yeah. And uh, so, as you say, 33 people came along and took a share in uh, this filly who got yeah. named Melody Bell eventually. Mm -hmm. And um, she won a trial in September uh, of 2016. Uh, she then went to her first race day, which was at Ruakaka up near Whangarei in October and uh, she won that race by two and a half lengths so by now we're thinking we've got something that's a wee bit special. Wow. Then of course John it's getting closer it's not far away from the Caraca Millions yeah. and the first horse past the post gets 800,000 is that correct or no, a little bit lower than that? No the winning prize for the Caraca Million to the first place getter is 550,000 so that's what we were racing for and um, she, when Melody Bell started in that race, which was the 29th of January 2017, uh, she was having her fourth race day start. She had had the win I talked about, she had had a third and she had had an unplaced run. Uh, she wasn't favoured in the market, she was paying $33 to win on the, on the tote. <laughs> and, uh, um, but we did have a, a very good barrier draw. We had uh, we drawn one of the inside barriers, and we had a very good jockey on board, a, a, a rider called Opie Bosson, who's uh, one of clearly the, the very best jockey in New Zealand, or one of the best jockeys in New Zealand. This is what you dream about, isn't it? This is the big dream: is to get a horse that's going to win. Well, it's now won eight hundred thousand, hasn't it? Yes, it has. So you know, exactly right. Uh, we, we think we're in the business of making people's dreams come yeah. true. Yeah. Right. Well, let's have a look at Melody Bell winning that Caracas Million. Be hit now to the three hundred meters. Gift of power tackled by Melody Bell. Two leagues away. Coming on now. We've got Felton Road. Here's Hassa Halo starting to put in down the outside at the hundred and fifty. It's Melody Bell in front. Hassa Halo storming after it. So is Felton Road. Melody Bell holding them. Hassa Halo and Felton. The road can't get it. Melody Bell for Fortuna wins the Caraca Million. Second over photos. Pass a halo end. Right there as well with Felden Road. And then we had a lineup. Star Treasure Podrick out wide. Not that far away. Sophie's Choice. Oscar 8 was there as well. Ooh, then came wow. uh, Princess what Rihanna. Did you feel, John? Powerful. What did you feel, John? What did you feel? All your dreams come true that day, didn't they? Yes, they did. And everything you've been working for. 
<laughs> well, of course, as you probably saw from the crowd reaction, yeah, yeah. those people in the stand were our members. Uh, we had a huge crew of people there, probably about 40 altogether, including the you know friends, family, hangers-on. And everybody gathered down on the birdcage after the race to welcome the horse back and do the official ceremony. Yeah. There were tears, there were hugs, there were people crying. It was mm. just a, an amazing experience. The prize money she's won from just seven race day starts. 865,000. 800, 800, yeah. Wow. Now, John, we're looking for another 33 people, aren't we? Because you've got another winner of... In the paddock, tell us all about this beautiful new horse. Okay, so this is also a filly. Yeah. Um, I, she's a two-year-old. I believe she's the nicest filly I've ever bought. Wow. In terms of her looks, her stature, her physicality, and her pedigree. Yeah. She's by Burgundy, who's a young sire. Uh, he's a, a sire on the move. Uh, he, already th this year, his progeny have won three what we mm. call black-type races, stakes races. She's out of a mare who herself was a group race winner, a mare called Spin and Grin. Um, she's big, she's strong. Uh, I believe she's a stayer. I believe mm. she's a sort of horse that we'd be aiming at the Caulfield Cup in a couple mm. of years' time. Uh, that's a $3 million race, so um, that's... For a 1% ownership in this horse, $1,800. Correct. Yep. So we like to make ownership very easy. Yep. Uh, we will. We will sell shares in any yeah. size, 10%, 5%, 2.5%, yep. right down to 1%. So for $1,800... You could be a part of the syndicate. 1%, yeah, yep. or $4,500 uh, for 2.5%. Yep. And uh, for the 1% person, who, the person who takes 1%, it's $34 a month ongoing, yep. 1800 down, to 34 look after a month. The horse, maintenance yep. and that. Correct, from the 1st of November. Uh, now, John, if, uh, how, we, how do we... Um, get hold of you or um, a person that's going to uh, guide us through this buying process to become a 1% shareholder. Okay, the first thing you can do is yep. call me directly. Yep. That's 021-921-460. Yep. Uh, all of the information is on our website, which is fortuna-nz.com. And uh, there's lots of information there for anybody that wants to check us out a bit before making contact. Yeah, John, this is so exciting. Uh, when you told me this story, I just, <laughs> wow, that's wonderful. Because I know, Look, I, I know how hard it is, isn't it? You know? Yeah, I've had so many people in that syndicate tell yeah. me, John, this has been a life-changing experience <laughs> for us. <laughs> so it is a quite, quite a remarkable story. Now, John, you're back again on uh, just, just before the Melbourne Cup. Yep. We're going to try your world-famous betting system. Yes, this and, is it. Um, that's and, right. This we'll, is it. Uh, this is a betting method that we've talked yeah. about on the show in the past. Yeah. And last time we did it, I had someone call me to say they'd won $16,000 as a result of uh, following the strategy that I outlined. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And of course, we'll talk about other horses as well. Correct. That are um, in syndication. John, thank you very much. Good to see you again. And uh, we look forward to you seeing you on the 6th. Thank you, Jerry. Thanks, John. Bye-bye.